Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and what you're seeing on the screen is what the topic of this tutorial is and we are well having a stick on weapon on this uh, thing here which I guess is a egg a demon egg with no arms I guess it does not have any arms but it can hold a weapon and it can shoot so <laughs> if you want to know how to do that Game Maker Studio, stay tuned. This is One Up Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Swords and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can because YouTube is kind of throttling my channel hardcore. So let's go right into the good stuff so basically this is like a nuclear throne you have just an app a weapon which is just being stuck on the player and then well it can shoot fire or whatever and this is exactly what we're gonna do here so first of all i just have one object which is just called sticky weapon i put it into the room and then it will bam instantly uh, for now now but it will stick to the player. So that's the idea. The player is completely well, oblivious to that. So player is not well, part of the content of this tutorial. And the first thing we need to have is to rearrange our gun and quite important middle center. So the rotation looks good. This is quite important. So how can we get it's actually its image angle uh, what, what is it good for? So basically just so it rotates correctly. So how can we get it? Well, we just go and use the function point direction. And for that we need a few parameters to put in. Let's say two uh, coordinates, two axes and two y's. And we just say, hey, we start with the x and y of the player and then the mouse. So it just turns around to the mouse. And this is, for example, if we start the game, it already does its job, kind of. Because if you see, it needs to be, let's say, near the player, but now it works pretty sweet. So that already works. This is good. But now we want it to stick to the player. So how can we do that? Well, we just say my, our X and Y are the ones of the player, X and Y. Let's go and take this downwards. Nope. Yes. And for example, now if we start it, it already looks good. So if you just wanted to know how to do that, well, we're pretty much finished with this <laughs> tutorial. Bye bye. But if you want to know how to do a little bit more, well, I'm going to show you now. But for example, now this already looks pretty sweet. So this is the basics to this guy. So the next thing we want to do is to shoot something. So we just go and check, hey, mouse check button released, our left mouse button. And if then we create a bullet and this bullet object is kind of empty. It has, well, it has an only alarm, so it won't be flying forever. So after the alarm hits it, it's just being destroyed, so it won't be lingering around too much and then we just say hey make a variable which are called bullet then store the instance there for now the bullet won't be doing anything but we can change that very fast so first of all we need again the image angle like for the gun the image angle is well a thing we want to change for the bullet as well but now it won't be flying, we want it to fly. For that we need a direction. And what kind of direction? Well, the image angle as well. And that only works if your gun is pointing to the right and your bullet as well. If not, you will get some other funny results and then you need to kind of adjust for that. But here we won't. And now we need a speed. Come on, come on. And let's say three. And now we are pretty much finished here because 
it does mechanically everything we need. Bam, 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 bam. As you can see, it shoots in the right direction and it turns around. So we could be finished here, but let's go and make a little bit more fine tuning. So the next thing is I want to have some pushback. And for that, we need two variables, which I put in front here. And I just call them push X and push Y. And here I use the length there function. So basically I'm just having a length with a specific angle. And then I subtract 180. Why 180? Well, for example, if you just look like this and you are shooting in this direction, then the weapon pushback is not in the direction of the shooting, but the opposite one. So it goes a little bit back and that's why minus 180 and then we have this push variable which is well zero for now and that we're gonna change here we set it to 10 but for example if we do this now it well won't be working too much or <laughs> at all because we need to apply it to our x and y position <laughs> therefore i just kill that stuff and here the code is not too difficult to understand. Basically, I just lerp between two things, the original X and Y position to stick to, and then the X and Y position plus, let's take that away, plus the push X and Y. And now it will definitely be better, but I need to reduce the push, which is kind of important because then um, it will stick at one point. This looks kind of ugly. So that's why we always reduce our push. If it's more than, um, let's say, one or whatever. But be because we don't want it to be, let's say, minus values, that's why we just clamp it, well, it be between itself and zero and 10. And now, for example, we start it again. Now you will see a nice pushback effect. Bam, 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 bam. So this is pretty sweet. For example, if you say, I like the stabby stuff. Well, we can do that as well. We just take a spear. Then we won't be creating a bullet because now we don't need it. Because that would be looking kind of silly. But of course, if you want a spear that fires bullets, you can do that too. And for example, we start again the whole thing here. Bam, 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 bam. It does as well. But as you, as you can see, it goes back. And here we just need to adjust the minus 100. Give it a little bit more, let's say, push. Let's go for 30. So it goes really out. And let's check it out again. Yeah, so much better. Of course, you can play with those values and numbers. So hopefully it was of interest to you. And now you can clone almost to 50% nuclear throne. That was it for today. Have a good one. One up indie.